For some students, being successful in school is a big challenge. Well, here in St. Clair County, there is a program to help these students be successful. The program is called Day Treatment Night Watch. And that's our topic all this week on Dateline Schools. And to tell us all about it, my special guests are the Day Treatment Night Watch program managers, Monica Weaver and Craig Chipman. And, and Craig, can you explain to us what is the Day Treatment Night Watch program? Day Treatment Night Watch program was, uh, was uh, thought up in 1995. It was, it was going to be an alternative to sending uh, area kids to a residential placement. Um, the idea was to keep the kids within the community and work with the families and the school districts to, to keep the kids in their own community um, and help them um, get on track so we can send them back to their home schools and be successful. I think this is one of those best kept secrets in the county. Where, so where, where's your program located? Uh, the po- program uh, originally started out on 10th Street in the old children's shelter. Um, since then, in 2010, um, Grant Nixon was the force behind building us a new building. Um, and we're at 1238 Michigan Road right next door to the Sheriff's Department. That had to be a big improvement for you guys. Yes. <laughs> the, the building on 10th Street was in disarray and falling apart. And, uh, you know, Grant's gone now, but he was he was a major force in getting us a new building, which we desperately needed because uh, as, as the years went on, our population in, in our program went up. Why did the de- county develop this type of a program? Uh, they developed it because, um, one, if, if the the kids were on probation and weren't doing well. The alternative at that time was to send them to a residential placement. Uh, residential placements are very um, high cost, um, and there was no follow-up when the kids got out of, of residential placement. So they designed this program to have the parents involved. The parents are court ordered to participate too, um, and work with us so that um, when they do go back, we will. Um, follow them when they go back to school too to make sure they're staying on the same path and getting good grades and um, good behaviors both at home and in the school. And it should be noted too we don't really have a residential placement program in our county right now do we? Uh, We had one in the past Um, it is now closed due to financial situations but um, the two day treatment programs that are running now have taken the, the place of the residential program. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dayline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.